So here we are at West Coast Cylinder Head, watching the L92 heads get ported. Check out all this code that it's running by. I mean, this is insane. This is all the code it needs just for some of the movement of the porting process. Totally insane. Beats the hell out of doing it by hand. Many years I spent doing it by hand. That finished the logo? Yeah. Let's see what that looks like. So this is Rich putting his signature mark on the head here. West Coast Racing Cylinder Heads. I think I have the uh, other style ones. 823 and 821 are the 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 common LS3 and L92 heads, oh. you know, casting. So, but this one here is uh, these have a little bigger cast finished ports. Uh -huh. The 5364, okay. about three or four cc's. Uh, so uh, basically, as I was explaining to you earlier, um, before we put the heads in the fixture, we do a light deburring around a valve cover rail and some of the major edges and such because out of the box they're really really sharp solar yeah. heads so um, knocking the edges down makes them easy to handle we don't get so many cuts and, uh, and uh, abrasions while we're working with them yeah I can definitely say from working with the, the LS heads those things are like a razors yeah all of them are, are just traditionally super sharp and uh, we're going to go ahead and logo this one again. So, I, so, so this is Richard from West Coast Cylinder Head. Uh, this is what I consider a solid gold guy. We've known each other for, I don't know, shit, it's going on 15 years now, you know. Scary thought. And we've done Engine Masters competitions together. And if there's ever a guy I'm going to trust with my cylinder heads, this is the guy. I mean, he is just an incredible cylinder head man. And when it came to... Uh, me choosing uh, a guy to port our heads for our turbo combinations and our naturally aspirated combinations on the new LS motors. This is, he's pretty much the ultimate, was what I would consider. So I'll let Richard go from there. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate the kind words. Um, this is a, our Fidel CNC machining center that we um, built our own five axis um, solar head fixture on. Um, basically, we can position or articulate the cylinder head in, um, in a multitude of uh, different ways of approaching uh, a way of reaching ports and, uh, and combustion chambers for the machining process. Um, basically, uh, in a nutshell, um, we have five ranges of motion or five axes of motion, uh, left and right, which is our X direction. Uh, 
forward and backward, which is our Y direction. Uh, we can move our spindle column up and down, which is our Z motion direction. Uh, we have one rotary motion here, our A axis, which rotates uh, 360 degrees like a barrel. And then we can articulate in the B axis, which will give us our tip uh, or teeter. Um, and that lets us get around the push rod bends and, and around some corners that uh, uh, you might not otherwise do with a four axis machine. And uh, what we're getting ready to do is um, we're going to run our stage two CNC port program on this L92 um, or LS3 casting. Um, we do a program that uh, machine finishes the combustion chambers, uh, does a partial intake port in the bowl area, a partial intake from the gasket entrance side. Um, we machine along the entire floor uh, of the intake port and then we machine the exhaust port complete from the seat to the gasket flange. And uh, basically, we're, we're good for improving airflow on the intake side. Uh, we take it up from about 325 CFM to a little over 350 uh, CFM uh, in a usable lift curve. Uh, airflow peaks out at about uh, 640 to 650 lift. The exhaust port, there's a dramatic increase in airflow. Uh, we take them from about 205 CFM uh, out to about 250 CFM. And um, that is a, a pretty healthy pickup uh, over the factory port. Uh, we also don't remove a lot of material with this because these heads have such uh, large cast finished ports to start with. So uh, shape is everything. Uh, they already have uh, lots of cross-sectional area, which is good for, for um, you know, high flow volumes. Uh, they already have fairly large valve sizes in them, so uh, we really just need to um, make sure that the, uh, the detail work is what's covered, and that, that's what this program serves to do. Check out this fixture that Richard, Richard, this is about, this is what I've got wood on, taking a look. Richard uh, basically programmed and machined this fixture in this machine. It's one of the nicest ones I've seen. It's just, it's, it's, it's just a gnarly fixture. I mean, years and years ago when he started with this, I mean, the amount of learning that he's had to do to, you know, for years, all I did was port heads, and I'd always be picking Richard's brain about how do you port this, how do you port that, and he was the master. And, uh, you know, now he's into the CNC world, and it's just an awesome thing for me to see, and his, his fixtures bitching, and uh, it's just... A real cool marriage of uh, ideas. Thanks, Tom. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, send the uh, fixture to home and uh, pull up the uh, stage two program and uh, let her rip. Excuse me one second. Close it here, and you might see a little bit of flash going on. cutting the combustion chamber. One real advantage of the CNC ported is that how every, every port is equal. So your consistency is just, you know, that's, it's just all the same. And that's super important when you start making big power. So every intake port, every exhaust port, every combustion chamber, it's all gonna be the same. All the volumes will be the same. And it, it, like I said before, it sure beats the hell out of doing it by hand. I mean, doing it by hand definitely has its place, but that's what Richard's done here. Is he's basically 
spent hours and hours and hours porting by hand and figuring out what the best port is for what we were trying to do and then made a program for it. And then it's always the same, it's, it's just bits.